Well, the first pitch of the Major League Baseball season, just a little over two hours away. As players prepare for a season without fans in a stands, well, or at least without real people. All right, I want to go to Abby Hornacek, uh, who is going to fill us in on, on this brave new world. Now, listen, I know robots and androids <laughs> are taking all of our jobs, but <laughs> they're going to be the fans <laughs> they're now, taking too? Our spots. <laughs> yeah, they're taking our spots in the stands. Charles, what is going on? No, I actually <laughs> think that this is a great idea. They are experimenting with virtual fans. And, of course, it's not ideal, but I think it's our best option right now. And here is why. So they have been talking about how they're going to pipe in these crowd noises at the games, which my first reaction was, you know, this is going to sound like a really bad sitcom when people are laughing in the background and you know there's no one actually in studio. But when you add in this augmented reality, you're putting life behind those sounds. And Charles, I don't know about you, but when I watch a baseball game, I'm not looking at the faces of the fans minus the times where you get that viral video of maybe a guy holding a baby and a beer and then there's a foul ball and the ball lands in the beer, then it matters. But I think people will get used to the fact that these are not real people and it, it looks so realistic, they'll forget about it altogether. So, but we're not at that stage yet, though, where say there is a foul ball that one of these uh, Android-like things gets up and catches it. I mean, have they gotten that advance yet? Or, Can that or, or will they just, you know, what's going to happen... <laughs> yeah, you know, I, listen, I'm not I agree sure. With you. I think that they could I, disappear. <laughs> that oh, okay. if they could right. make some, hey, I, you know, some form of if they could make some form of augmented what are the reality players that saying could about catch this? Balls. So here's the thing about the players, and I think the reaction with fans is that okay? Well, this might be a little weird to watch on TV. I honestly don't think that the players care because I actually watched a really interesting interview this morning with Pete Alonzo, and he was saying that, look, these guys come up through the farm system. So they're not used to playing until they reach the majors. They're not used to playing in front of these crowds that you get at City Field or Yankee Stadium. So I really don't think they it matters. It matters to them. They just want to play ball. And if anything, it'll hopefully return them to the reason that they started playing baseball in the first place for the love of the game. Well, all right. I, I hear you there, but what about the home field advantage, that energy that the home team gets from the crowd and they're behind and it's the bottom of the ninth. And there's something that you feel, right? I mean, no matter what sport it is, you feel it. And it seems to put teams over the top. Is that going to be gone? I, yes, I do think an aspect of that will be gone. But with this augmented reality, they're talking about that they can switch the colors of the people in the crowd. They can switch their jerseys or, you know, the, the colors of catering to whatever team is having the whole home field advantage. And get this, Charles, they will make the fans leave if it's a blowout. So People are going to be watching that on TV, <laughs> but the players aren't going to be feeling that, you know? So they're just going to have to get over it, I think. It, it, yeah. Take it back to the Little League days, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what are we looking at now? Who's the favorite? Uh, has anything changed with respect to, you know, the, who's going to win this year? Uh, have the odds makers made any sort of adjustments because of all of this? Yeah, you know, you do see the odds changing a little bit, but um, I, I think that it, it – What's going to really change it is seeing opening day and how all of this plays out and how it plays out for fans at home who is watching. I do think that a lot of people are eager to get back there. Um, sports bettors are eager to get back out there and start laying some action on these games. So I think we'll see that shift. And then you have the universal designated hitter, which has been, you know, kind of a change in only 60 games. So each game matters more. You're not looking at a normal baseball season. Uh other sports, uh, you know, so we've got racing, we've got baseball, uh, there's you know, the NBA, uh, everyone under, the, the, under, under this dome, that's going to be another weird experience. But there were questions of whether or not sports will continue, and it looks like we're going to make it through, right? I think we are, Charles. And, you know, it's good for fans. It's good for the players. I think everyone's just eager to see something. And, you know, sports have had a universal effect on bringing people together. So hopefully that happens in today's climate as well. But 
you know, the NBA, they're working on their bubble and, and baseball is different because they'll be traveling and there is more of a risk with getting on airplanes and all of that. But I do think we'll slowly see sports coming back. NFL season is actually talking about maybe right. using this augmented reality with their fans as well. So baseball's definitely laying the groundwork when it comes to that stuff. All right. Well, I want to see these, this augmented reality crowd uh, in the seventh inning stretch. I want to hear them singing and take me out to the ball game. Abby, thank you very much. I actually, Charles, I heard a rumor that you're actually going to be singing the seventh inning stretch and it's going to be an augmented reality <laughs> of you. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. <laughs> uh, I'm working on it. You got it. See you soon. Great, great. You might see me. <laughs>